My project is on the Fugitive Slave Law of 1793. I'll be reading pieces of the article that further explain the Fugitive Slave Law. Some information can be found here or here. And be it further enacted that any agent appointed as aforesaid who shall receive the fugitive into his custody shall be empowered to transport him or her to the state or territory from which he or she shall have fled. And if any person or persons shall by force set at liberty or rescue the fugitive from such agent while transporting, as aforesaid, the person or persons so offending shall, on conviction, be fined not exceeding $500 and be imprisoned not exceeding one year. This was passed on February 12, 1793. So this passage basically explains that if a slave were to run away from their slave owners, they would be transported back to where they had fled from. And if a person had helped the slave get out of being transported back to their owner, they would have to pay a fine of $500 and they would go to jail. Many northern states enacted legislation to protect free black Americans as well as runaway slaves who could otherwise be abducted, then brought before court without the ability to produce a defense, and subsequently lawfully enslaved. These laws became known as personal liberty laws. The act was no doubt a response to the proliferation of anti-slavery societies and to the emergence of the Underground Railroad. Like the Constitution itself, this act does not include a single mention of the word slave or slavery. The Northern States argued that the Fugitive Slave Law of 1793 was unconstitutional because it took away the state's rights to legislate regarding fugitives from slavery. Southern states, on the other hand, argued that the Fugitive Slave Law was necessary to protect their property rights and that the law was necessary and proper to carry out the Constitution's provisions regarding fugitives from labor. The states argued about the Fugitive Slave Law, then it resulted to that. The Fugitive Slave Law was finally passed by Congress in 1850. The debate in Congress in 1819 and 1820 over whether Missouri should enter the Union as a slave or free state made it clear to the entire nation that the slavery issue was not going to be simply evaporated in the American Republic. In the decade before the Civil War, fugitive slave cases remained common, but were then tried under the new law passed in 1850. This law, which was part of the package of bills known as the Compromise in 1850, created a new office named the Federal Commissioner.